Hi, I'm Kimberly Schneiderman, Senior Practice Development Manager here at Rise Smart, here with your weekly tip. During career transition, you may find that job requirements for target positions are different than those required in your previous positions, even for work in the same field. It might lead you to ask the question, what more do I need to know about some topic? You may even need to ask yourself, what skills and knowledge am I missing that are needed to reach my goals? At times, the answer to those questions might be obvious. You may be well aware, for example, that in order to create a project proposal, you need to learn more about creating budgets, planning, and managing resources. Other times, you may find that you need to dig in a bit to understand and develop the skills required for a position. Here are some tips to help you identify and address possible gaps in your skill set. First, review job ads. The most obvious place to start is by reviewing job postings for work in your field. What skills and requirements are listed that you haven't needed or used in previous positions? Make a list of those skills and begin researching ways to close that skill gap. Next, review job ads again. In addition to looking for job postings that match your field of work, review postings for jobs associated with the skills that you want to improve. For example, Perhaps you want to improve your project management skills. In that case, look at project manager positions to identify the skill sets and expertise required for that job. Of those requirements, which would be useful for you, given the needs of your target position? Make a list of those skills and research resources to help you obtain that knowledge. Next, determine the best format. A plethora of educational opportunities are available to help close the skills and knowledge gap. These might be as simple as watching a few YouTube videos or reading a book to learn a specific technique or strategy. You might pursue a course offered online or a certification program offered through a trade association. Depending on the skill and need, a semester-long class at the local college or even a degree program at a university could be the best route for you. Next, research the return on investment. What will change for you once you've completed the necessary education and closed the skill gap? Do you expect an impact on your long-term earning and growth potential? Understanding your return on investment, whether it involves a time investment or a financial investment, is an important part of the process. And finally, identify your interest level. How interested in the topic are you? How will that level of interest impact your motivation, commitment for completion, and ability to learn the content. Knowing the answer to those questions might impact the type of course you complete and the investment you are willing to make in developing a skill. Learning something new has many benefits. It can stimulate renewed interest in a topic that you've known for a long time. It can expose you to different techniques and methodologies. And it can motivate you to learn more, which itself can be fun and inspiring. Whatever you choose to do, ensure you understand the personal and professional return on investment so you can pursue that education with the right expectations. Thank you for joining me today. And for more ideas in your job search, be sure to tune in to this week's webinars.